What happened to the Indian economy during COVID-19 pandemic? Growth in which sectors was highly hampered? How did the Indian economy manage to generate the path of recovery? Are you interested in knowing all of that? Then let's begin to understand the pandemic economics. India, like the global economy, was hard hit by the pandemic in all three sectors. But the manufacturing sector and the service sector had to undergo a complete shutdown for months due to high labour migration back to village and increase of infection at a massive rate respectively. Even the agriculture sector had to face hardships due to restriction in movement and no proper logistics. Shutdown in key industries resulted in stagnation and the worst hit states like Maharashtra, Kerala, etc., which contributed about 19-20% to 20 in GDP earlier, couldn't do so, resulting in decline in the GDP growth rate. As domestic savings and consumptions declined due to the only focus on bare necessities, it built a poor investor confidence. The panic and uncertainty due to the rising causes of coronavirus further led to heavy economic losses and led the stock markets to crash. Small and large businesses had to envision their biggest losses of lifetime. From the malls, shopping complexes, theatres and restaurants to workplaces, everything remained closed for months. Non-performing assets with banks also rose as the global lockdown affected businesses' earnings and many businesses hardly made enough to sustain their livelihood. Like every cloud has a silver lining, Indian economy also sustained the burns of socio-economic losses to come back to the path of recovery. International solidarity reduced the escalation of humanitarian and food security catastrophe by huge amounts. By focusing on sustainable development goals, food security, rural poverty and job creation, the economy came back on the track. Ultimately, we must rethink the future of our economy, understand the pandemic economics, ensure that our new normal is the better one.